Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. A brand new terror raid and a bunch of mass outbreak events have just been announced for Scholar and Violet that are going to be happening over the Christmas period. So we're going to cover all of the details in today's video. So hot off the heels of the Indigo disc release, we have got some brand new events that have just been announced that are coming in the next couple of weeks. Of course, at the minute, we still have the Mass Outbreak event that is running for the Milsery in the Indigo disc, the Litwick in Kitakami and the Flababy in Paldea. That will be running until the 21st of December. As well as that, we do have the Terror Raid event where you can get yourself a Palkia or a Dialga, depending on if you've got the Scarlet or Violet versions of the game. And again, that will be running till the 21st of December. So they're the events happening right now, but we've had the new ones announced that will be taking over from those events when they finish. So from the top, we've got the first event announced here, which is going to be the next seven star terror raid event battle has been revealed. The battle against Ice Terror Type Iron Bundle. So this is going to be not Delhi Bird quite, but kind of a, a future Delhi Bird, right? And it's going to be a seven star raid as well. Very exciting one, of course, as always, we'll do a best build here on the channel for this seven star terror raid. If it was Delhi Bird, I would say it would be probably pretty easy. But Iron Bundle is a different Pokemon altogether. Very strong Pokemon overall, has a very high speed stat and a decent special attacking stat as well as good defensive stat as well. So physical Pokemon are going to kind of struggle against it, although you would think that fighting types would be the best option against it. But this is only running for a very short period of time. The 7 star radar will be running from the 22nd of December and running through to the 24th of December. So that will be actually starting this coming Thursday evening, Friday for a lot of us and running over the weekend just before Christmas on Christmas Eve where it will finish. Next up after that is going to be an event that a lot of people are going to be happy about and that is the return of Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. So this event has already happened twice. The first time out there was a bit of an issue with it. There was a bad egg glitch that happened with that. They rerun the event after when this bug was fixed allowing players to go back in and catch it. Now we've probably had an influx of brand new players to Scarlet and Violet with the Indigo Disc who never had the chance to get these Pokemon when that event ran earlier this year. And now this event will be running once again for a limited time only for players to go in and get these Pokemon. So this event will kick off on the 25th of December, Christmas Day and run through till the 7th of January. So for a week, you're gonna have the opportunity to get these Paradox Pokemon in your game. I'd imagine it will be the same case as before. It'll be one Pokemon per save file. And if you've already caught them from previous events where they've been accessible, then you're not going to be able to get another copy of them. But it does give players the chance to get them if they missed this event in the past. We've also got mass outbreak events announced as well. We've got a Delhi Bird mass outbreak event that will be coming on the 22nd of December and running through to the 25th. So it'll be coinciding with that seven star raid event for Iron Bundle. And this one will be featuring Delhi Birds. And it doesn't really specifically say at the moment which region these Delhi Birds will be featured in or whether or not the shiny chances are going to be increased. But the promo picture that we've got here does have a shiny Deli Bird in the background. So I'd imagine the shiny odds like we're seeing at the moment for the current mass outbreak event will be carried into this one. And maybe we also get the better chance of a mark as well as those boosted shiny odds for this event, considering that it will be to celebrate the holiday period in Christmas overall. But this one running for a very short period of time again from the 22nd starting later this week and running until the 25th which will be christmas day then after that we're going to have the final event that has been announced today and it is going to be a mass outbreak event for dragon type pokemon we're going to have Dratini, which will feature in paldea we're going to have jangma all which will feature in kitakami and we're going to have duraludon as well now this one will run from the 25th of december and right through until the 3rd of january so again not running for a great deal of time but enough time for us to be able to get these pokemon very easily in our games hopefully again they'll have that increased shiny chance to them when the outbreaks go live and maybe even some increased rates with marks or rare marks that we might not be able to get on them normally. So first off, we're going to have the seven star terror raid event for Iron Bundle. That will be running with the mass outbreak event for Delhi Bird. Then after that, we're going to have the returning terror raid event for Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. 
while we get the Dragon Mass Outbreak events that will be running in Paldea, Kitakami and the Blueberry Academy Terrarium all at the same time. Very, very nice events that are going to take us right over this holiday period starting later this week on Thursday. Like I say, we will do a best build on the channel for the Delibird 7 Star Terror event that will be happening later this week with some Pokemon that are going to be good going in against this Pokemon because obviously being a Paradox Pokemon, its move pool is quite limited. It doesn't really have any ways to boost its stats up. So we can really take advantage of it and make it as easy as possible, which we'll do in our best builds. And of course, when the raid goes live, we'll go live with the best Pokemon to solo this with. So you can farm this event when it goes live over that Christmas period and hopefully reap the rewards of some very good item drops with it. Hopefully it is dropping Herbers for Christmas. It would be a perfect one to do it. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. We'll get all the information when the raid goes live later this week. But thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Some very very exciting news and not what I was expecting very deep in amongst all of the Indigo Disc content at the minute which is very exciting so thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day let me know what your thoughts are on these events that have just been announced down below in the comment section which one are you looking forward to the most and I will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye